<laughs> Welcome back to the KD family. We're back with another one today. An okay. Indian mukbang. Today we have Indian mukbang. Uh, Indian mukbang. Indian food. Food from Dosa Hut. Absolutely. Um, they have a few franchises. It is a franchise Indian uh, restaurant. Mm. Um, I will read out the menu to you guys of what we ordered. I didn't think there would be this much food. And just an FYI, I just realized how uncultured I am when I was looking at this menu. I knew nothing on it. Absolutely nothing. I had to go to Google and search how it looked, you know? Um, yeah, saying so, I'm the same. I, I don't know a lot, of, a lot of dishes except the butter chicken, which is something very, very, like, all white people know what that is. Um, there was a lovely customer named Jess who um, was lovely enough to help me out. She's, uh, she explained all the dishes. She told me what to get. Um, so... Let's start. We ordered butter chicken. Classic, you already know. You already classic, know. Classic safe option. Oh, safe as in like the least spicy one. Yeah, my mum's made that. Let's put it that way. Yeah. The rice is chicken biryani. Then we have beef. Sorry, lamb roganosh. Um, I think, guys, I think this is the um, paneer butter masala dosa. So that one comes with a dosa, and a dosa is basically like a flat, a pancake style bread that they wrap. Mm. Um, then we got garlic naan and garlic roti. I believe they're the same thing, but please let us know if they're different. Yes, please. Um, and then we got samosa. Just checking. Hold on. Samosa, sambar samosa. So sambar is like like a like a, a base that comes with it. So we dip that in there. And then I think it's that one because I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's a couple of there's sauces there. There's a couple down of here. sauces here. I don't. They didn't label me. We got these ones as well, but honestly, no. We'll clue. probably just dip it in all of it. Yeah, we'll honestly, just see. How and then it. we got um, sambar idli and vada. So this is idli and this is vada. I'm sorry if I've mixed them up. And the sambar is a sauce that comes with it. She said that the Jess said that she likes to soak the idli in. So like it's like all soaked in, so maybe we can mm. try that. My mouth just got wet. And then, know. oh, this bread, I think it comes with, okay. This bread smells cracker, man. Um, it's like nice and buttery, like brioche. Pav baji. I think this is the pav baji. She said it was vegetable based. So if that's the vegetable one, that's pav baji. And it comes with this buttered up bread. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Then, I think that's all we got. Is that everything? Yeah. Did I, I let me just check everything. Uh, yeah, that's all we got. So... It is going to be um, a new range of taste buds for myself because I've only ever had butter chicken. Um, so first time trying Indian. First time trying Indian. I reckon I've had it once before. Hanan was going through a phase and we kept going to this restaurant, but that was it for me. Yeah. Um, also, I was going to get forks, but Kamal said we're supposed to eat with our hands. But, so now, but now now I'm saying that, like, how are we going to do that? Like, it's Yeah, like... I think we're just very used to eating with our hands, but if we need, we'll have the forks on the side. Absolutely. I mean, we're so used to eating with a fork. Yeah. All right, should we start? Let's do a thumbnail. All Good right, one. I'm going to start with the samosa. I think I am too, man. Let's keep it real. Mm, I've actually had samosa before. Yeah. I grew up knowing this is sambusa, but it is actually samosa. Oh, my gosh, I forgot I should do some more stuff. That's a good symbol for Mmm. Should we dip it? Mm hmm. Ooh. Was it spicy already? Mm hmm. Not spicy. I think. Mmm. Mm, I think this is the sauce for it, but anyway, we'll just try. Hey, that's actually alright, man. Mm. Nice with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? I can hold it. It's okay. Mmm. Let's see. It's actually really yummy. I, I've, I've never been, to, like, I've never bought from Dosa Hut before. Mm. You like it? And then this one, I don't know if this is a dipping one, but we're going to try. This actually might be what she was saying, because I, I don't know what that other one is, guys. She said that pav bhaji is like smashed vegetables. Yeah, that's definitely smashed veggies. That looks like lentils or something. Lentils? Oh, wait. I'm not going to Wait, no, no, this is for this one, I think. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to still do it. Because she said it was lentils for this one. Hey, this sambus is proper. Yeah, this is the vegetable one. This is the vegetable one. Yeah, okay, we figured it out. This mm. is the lentil mash thing for this idli, and this is the pav bhaji. Okay, figured it out. Nice, happy birthday. Hey, so you actually didn't reckon that some balls were spicy? What's wrong with me? And I'm gonna try this with that. I'm gonna try the idli too. It doesn't smell like anything. Hey, this looks like a match, yeah? Mm, it's nice. Dude, I love Indian or something. It's like this doesn't taste the like, rice bread. Yeah, this doesn't taste like anything on its own. I'm gonna try this one too now. Mmm. Mmm. So this is dough. It's filled with um onions and stuff. I don't know what else. Mmm. 
and dip it in here. Mm. Yeah, I think I like Indian food too, man. Mm, a lot on me. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice, actually. I wish you guys could smell this, man, because as soon as we were un unpacking all of this, the smell was slapping us in the face, yeah? Mm. The, Indians, the Indians definitely know what to do in the kitchen, man. It seems. So nothing spicy? I'm just, something's wrong with me type of thing? It's kind of spicy, not too spicy. I think I drank some spicy. <clears throat> More food, Let's try the roti, because mm, who doesn't uh, love a roti? Mm, I'm, I'm going to eat a naan. I'm going to try... What's this one again, babe? Do you try it? Vada. What do you think of it? Mm, good. good. Mm -hmm. But you got to dip it in the sauce. Mm. Should I try the butter chicken? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you all know about how picky I am with chicken, usually they use chicken thigh, so let's just hope mm. we get a good piece from out there. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Is it good? So delicious. Oh man. So delicious. Let me hack out this. I'm gonna just use this as a little plate. You can get that little plate there as well. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Yeah, I thought so, man. I honestly thought so. That's so freaking good! Is it actually? Mm-hmm. Oh man. Have you eaten today, babe? No. <laughs> yeah, that could be that could be a factor as well. Mmm. Oh, that sauce is cracker. Heck, the coconut milk they got in there or something, yeah? They don't use coconut milk. They put something creamy. Cream. I'm going to put a bit of rice on this. And then pick it up with the bread. That's what they do, yeah? They mix the rice and the butter chicken and then they pick it up with the bread? Is that what the Indians do? I don't know. I think they just eat it like that. I watched, no a couple, I watched a couple of Indian mukbangs before this and they had... Um, so we're mixing the rice and the butter chicken, eating it with the hands. Um, but we don't have the facilities for that, big man. You okay? Yeah, got leaking. <clears throat> so is this the garlic roti? That's the naan. The roti's on the bottom. I think I want to suss the roti. It's more like fluffy or something. I think so. I think it's wrapped in a different way. Um. Okay, it's coming, boys. The butter chicken review is coming. It's a good one. It Let's is. Try yeah? the roti. Mmm, the roti is nicer. It is, yeah? Mm. See, I knew that from the start. I'm gonna try the beet lamb raganash. In my past time, I was actually Indian. I don't know if you knew. Mmm. Right. Oh my god. Good, yeah. <laughs> this is making me think that bite, all the times my mum made butter chicken, it wasn't really butter chicken. I know, chicken. dude. Uh, literally. It was nice, mama. The best you need. This is butter chicken, Asif. Like even the can jar ones aren't like it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You will like this one, but but it's good, bro. Big frog and a But the chicken, that one's better. That yeah, one. I can imagine. If there's anything better than this on this plate, then I don't know what to say. Mmm. Oh my days. That was actually a cracker. That's good, yeah. That's actually That's good. good. Mm, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Islamu Adeki Jess, Islamu Adeki Dosa Hat, Alana Saluk. Are you gonna have that egg? No. Definitely not, yeah? No, no we, should, we should at least have a bite. I don't like cardboard eggs. You gonna get that chicken now? Mm, I like the way you think, baby. Mm. Let me put more of this. Let's um, try this. Spotted chicken. Mmm. It's a bit spicy. The bit, which one? Mm, the chicken on the biryani. Mm. I'm picking up the, the butter chicken zoom with That's the... That's good. It I is, just yeah? ate a, a whole uh, a spice. <clears throat> Careful. Mm, this is good. It is, man. Can I please get tissue when you're done? Absolutely. I can get you tissue right now. Woo! It's spicy, yeah? I'm happy I'm not the only one. And then, um, you're like slow today. Who? I've already tried the this, I've already tried that. Habib, it's because, it's because we don't have the facility, facilities for all this food, man. Wallah. We actually don't. Mm, so Look happy. at my arms, how they are, just to get this. I'm so happy. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, you always Guys, happy. after this, we're going to pick up um, stuffed mussels. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. You're Turkish, and you know what street food, I mean, if you've had like street food, you would know what it is. So excited for I'm excited it. to try it, man. Ever since I met her, you've raved on about that one. So good. 
Me and your dad like watch the street food YouTubes of that, yeah? Alright. Mm -mm. What was that? Can you try the, the lamb? Excuse me. I'm in a committed relo with this right now. Don't something. finish it, I want some. It's my last bit, don't worry. <laughs> yes, mm. I definitely like the roti better than the lamb, that's for sure. I want some. Mm. Actually, I'm slow. I'm panicking. What well, mm. haven't I tried? The mm. lamb rogan rush? Mm. 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 Yeah, so I didn't eat today because I woke up at 12.30. Yeah, sleeping and, then and a half. I had all these things to do. I was like, I'll just get a coffee on the way. I got an iced coffee and then did all my stuff. And by the time I came home, I just had to get ready. Yeah, so I, didn't, I didn't have time to eat, actually. You actually had a busy day from the sounds of things. all the chicken in it. No, I didn't. There's still chicken, bro. Wait. Yeah. There's a big piece. There. There's actually there's actually heaps. No. I don't want the chicken anyway. Yeah. See, I know that. That's why I did it for you. Cause I know you're like picky with chicken. Uh, I'm gonna take this from you, Habibti, so I don't have to lean over your face. Oh, oh sorry. Man. I was doing that. Yeah. Swap places. The the lamb roganosh. Let's see what they have to say, man. The lamb or beef? Mm, lamb, lamb. So Indians oh, don't eat um. Beef. Like a beef, yeah, they don't. Actually, some, some religions, but I believe the mainland don't eat like beef. Alright. Delicious rock and mush. Dude, it's so good. This food is really, really, really good. I'm really happy, actually. Yeah. And they're halal, guys. Like, the chicken stuff is all halal. The lamb rock and mush. Let's get it. Really good. Mmm. Oh my god. That's good, job. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. After this mm -hmm. one, haven't I tried? How's the chicken biryani? Like the mm -hmm. chicken. I think you might like it because your mum makes biryani similar to that, but your mum's biryani is better. Really? <laughs> nah, surely not. This is like, I don't this know, maybe it's just spicy, too, yeah? maybe this too, not as in like, not as in chili spicy, like herb spicy, spicy, yeah. Like I wonder if it's just not the right spice at all that I like. Yeah? Very hard to me. Mm. Oh man. We don't have enough Ooh. tissues for today, the way this is going. <laughs> uh, how's this buttered bread? What do we eat this with? Um, you eat that with that, I think. Pai oh, that's I it. think. That's sus. From memory. It's like buttered up buns. Mm, they're so like buttered. They're like, they're giving me brioche vibes, you know? With this? And it's just vegetables. Yeah, my god. Yeah. Really? Really? I didn't think this all would be that nice. Oh, I don't like that. You don't like that? No. No, that's on you, Habib. That's on you, Allah. That's cracker. That bread is good, man. The no. carrot with the curry? The oh my God. Fat. This and the butter chicken. You like the bread. What about the actual thing? Dish. I'm talking about the bread. Yeah, I'm talking about the actual dish. <laughs> Can you tell me about the actual dish? It's nice. Give <laughs> mm. me more tissue. <gasps> I want to go to like an Indian restaurant and sit in now, after this. Yeah, there's like actually a couple that we can go to. Mm. There's one near my house that's actually pretty good that we used to go with. And then the butter chicken there. Yay! Mm. Give me some of this lamb, bro. <laughs> yeah, I came straight from work, man. Honestly, if we weren't doing a mukbang, I could have easily hit my bed on the hit my head on the pillow and passed out. <laughs> easily. <laughs> I'm happy with good food at least. <laughs> Find out. Oh, it actually might be tofu, but anyway. This is like a review, yeah? <laughs> We're actually like just reviewing it. That's the butter chicken sauce, isn't it? I think so. It tastes very similar. But something's a bit like sour at the end, which might be the bread. I think I like it. What's that? Was there, is that cheese? I didn't have any of that. Try it. The lady said it was, it's ricotta cheese, but I don't know if it's actually ricotta cheese. It looks like tofu. Mm. Try it. No, I don't want it's it. It's nice, it's nice. I don't want well, it. Well, that's nice. I don't want it. Have a bit. <laughs> I'll get you a bit. <clears throat> this is too much bread. Sorry. I think I'm actually going to go for it now with the bread in this. Mm. 
Yeah, my fingers are all in that, bro. I don't like that. You don't like it? No. I think I like it. Yeah. Wait. I don't know, the bread is like sour at the end and I don't like that. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? I always lick my fingers, it's fine. And everyone, everyone in the comments always says, why are you licking your fingers? And what do you say? What am I supposed to do, not lick my fingers? What do you want me to do? Man, one video we'll talk about the food for the whole thing. You know, when we haven't eaten for the first time, and they're like, talk about something serious. <laughs> then we talk about something serious, people say, we're here to relax, talk, don't talk about serious stuff. <laughs> Anna, I'm sorry, man, we can't do anything right. <laughs> May as well, like, just not exist or something. <clears throat> See, I actually don't like this, huh? Oh, I don't like the chicken biryani. So I mean, it's like... Okay. Indi I I but Indians probably wouldn't like my mum's biryani. They probably wouldn't. Your mum's is like a toned down of that. Though. Yeah, it's like not spicy. It doesn't have all that spices. Yeah. I'm going to go for the sambosa with the sambar. Samosa with the sambar. That's a, that's a great that's a great choice. I'm going to put this in the butter chicken, man. What's this? The vada? Mm -hmm. The vada x butter chicken. That's probably so unorthodox, man. On that comment about what people want to see. Unfortunately, what's happening in Afghanistan is a... I personally, from my perspective and what I've researched and everything, it's not simple, it's not a black and white situation. There's a lot of grey areas that the media don't cover. There's a lot of grey areas that the media want to show. I think that it's, a, it's targeting a Muslim population. It's targeting a country that unfortunately... Not unfortunately, has a great you know, borders with other countries and it's like a common theme. It's a great place to go. It's a great place to and have a headquarters. Colonize. It's a great place to have a headquarters. So it's a common theme with with countries like that that are middle that are majority Middle East like as in Middle Eastern that are majority Muslim that have a great border. Okay? Unfortunately. Now I don't know I've done some research but I don't know the uh -huh. ins and outs because it is now a civil matter. Yes, America. Anyway, I don't want to get in the politics. I don't want to get in the politics. I reckon let them know. I reckon let them know. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Anyway, the point is, there are a lot of civil matters that happen in every country. Lebanon, Lebanon situation is also civil, but it was, but happened because of outside sources. Serious situa Serious situation is, um, in turn, like civil, but you know, outside forces. Same with Iraq, and and currently, same happening in Turkey. They don't have a civil problem, but the outside forces are pushing for a civil problem. So, we just want to let everyone know that right now there is some misfortune happening to Muslim community in Afghanistan. We also send our prayers to the people of Lebanon, to the people of Syria, Iraq, Palestine, yes. Libya, everywhere. Everywhere that there's a problem. And, Obvi and, obviously, and I'm sure you all do too. And, but there's only so much we can do. Yeah, and of All course, we can do is have can, it in our prayers. Of course, everyone can do their own research, but please, 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 don't just read the articles that are, you know, funded by Murdoch or funded by Rothschild. Just go ahead and read articles that are more, you know, maybe from an Afghan news um, station or someone who is Af Afghani and they're writing an article. They live outside of Afghanistan. Do you know what I mean? So don't just listen to the mainstream news. If you don't go exploring for answers, you will, you will find the you, wrong answer. You will be given like a fraudulent situation, that is, a fraudulent scenario, and it's just not how it is. And that is with, unfortunately, every single Middle Eastern issue around the world. You just have to read. You have to do your own research, basically. You, if you just sit. If you just sit and listen to. Oh, channel 10 and channel 7 you're not getting the right you're not getting the right news and you're not getting the right coverage yeah and, or enough coverage and to be honest i don't know the absolute ins and outs of the truth but i do know enough not to believe some of the stuff that i see and some of the stuff that i see some people resharing and to be yeah you know but it's not but then again i'm not <clears throat> it's not your fault it's not your fault that you don't know and yeah that's all i wanted to say i just did want to bring awareness but unfortunately there is so much we can do on our end besides bringing awareness yeah, I think that I think that we're, we're situated at, given our Muslim status, that we do have some sort of say in bringing awareness to these situations, and we do have a duty of educating ourselves. Absolutely. So you're trying to tell me that my missus is a politician and a glamour? No. That's what you're trying to say no. right now. Uh, Pretty no. in pink with the facts, no. yeah? <laughs> Mashallah, <laughs> Habibti. 
guys. Yeah. And, and alhamdulillah, we're so grateful that we live in a country like this. We get to sleep in a warm house with a blanket on top of ourselves and a roof over our heads. You know, count our blessings all the time. I just finished my placement at Monash Children's Hospital. And the things I saw at that hospital, you know, you don't even think that children go through these things. You don't even think, you know, you're walking down the street, you're looking at these kids. You don't even think, I've never thought about these kids before. And then after that placement, it's like, there are so many, so many sick kids that you just have to be appreciative of. Yeah. Like, you just have to... You just have to be so bro, grateful of your life. Bro, in bad times, in good times, it's always thank God, man. Always thank God, bro. Mm. As, bad, as bad as it gets, and especially when it gets really good, you still just got to be thanking God for our situation. I'll, put, I'll give you an example. We're all in lockdown. We all hate it. We all are depressed. That is fair enough. These are our problems that we're dealing with. However... Is like in the scheme of things, it's not that bad. Like, keep your head up, keep going. Don't like bash yourself for it. Don't let yourself get in the hole. I know it's not easy, but like Dilara once made a post. Our DMs are open, man. I've talked to a couple of you guys. You know, I I heard you guys out, and you know, I do what I can. We talk through it, and we we see what we can do. But Alhamdulillah for everything, man. Thank God for everything. We're blessed. Yeah. We're blessed. And on the lockdown point, I actually did want to bring a topic to you. I bring raise awareness, another raise awareness to another topic. Um, like I didn't want to do the two two things in one video, but I guess we just linked them all. Um, so, unfortunately, there is this huge amount of female domestic violence that happens in Australia. It happens worldwide. Honestly, there's no there's no like one culture has more female violence than the other. There's no such thing. It happens around the world. And there is a woman, one woman died, before COVID guys, before COVID, it's probably increased now. One woman dies a week from like domestic abuse from someone they know. And that was before COVID. So after COVID, the stats might have increased. I know that the amount of women who are experiencing domestic abuse have increased. And this is also something that I want to raise awareness to because I'm a really big advocate for like anti-domestic abuse, anti like whatever, anything that happens at home, I'm just against that abuse, and I think that it's so important to like reach out, like to because you don't know, you don't know what your neighbor is going through. You know, do you ever ask your neighbor, like female, all the children at the home, like how are you guys? Do you need any help? And it's so, I know it's so so hard for a female to leave your ha home because like you've got kids, or like you're married to this person, you're scared, or you're you're oppressed, or you're manipulated to think that you're stuck there. But there are people, there are services out there that can help you there is actually a service where I've contacted them because I want to do something I want to raise away <clears throat> excuse me I want to I will leave the link down below where they provide these women who have escaped um, domestic abuse with secret of homes so they they give them a key to this address and nobody knows what it is no admin in their office knows what it is just one person gives them the key and they go to that house and they stay there and I think even though when they were showing this video on TikTok I watched it like they covered her face, they covered like the window, so you can't see any location, so it's, it's completely like safe to... Uh, I think they're called safe houses. Is this in Australia? This is in Australia, yeah. Awesome, that's awesome. That's actually So awesome. I will leave the link below. I have contacted them to see what else we can do. Um, what, so women going through it, getting contact, and then this is what they offer so them? That, yeah, so if you are in a wow, situation where you need to leave, they will find you a place to stay. In, in, I think it's called a safe house. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, chuck that link and, in ASAP. And unfortunately, when I did my placement at a school this year, during the lockdown, there were children who are part of the Department of Health and Human Services who who were being abused at home. Do you know? Because during lockdown, they're at home, so they, they get they get abused. And it's just, it's like, like, so, so, so sad. Like, there's like, there's like marrying someone, like there's living with someone who like, like, you know, can abuse you, but then you have children and these are mothers who are abusing their children. Like, like, just don't have children if you don't want to, like, if you don't want to take care of them, you know? Like, Absolutely. just don't. Absolutely. And as a teacher now, I've, I've only personally seen one case and I was talking to another teacher about it, like a DHHS case. And I was like, oh, this is so sad. And the teacher, I was, the other experienced teacher I was talking to, she's like, this happens all the time. It happens. It happens so, so often. That's why it's even more sad. Yeah. Are you um, to cry? No, no, it's even, yeah, it's even more sad that it happens so often and because of the high, like, because of how often it happens, there is, like, this huge waiting list on phone calls, huge waiting list with the services, there's a lack of quality control with the social workers, unfortunately, 
So yes, I just want to bring raise awareness and if you know any organizations that are working towards helping families like that, please do yeah. either share. If you can't donate, that's fine. There's been times I couldn't donate. Just share. Just no, raise no, awareness I, I, to I, it. It's, I, it's okay. Like it's it's not going to be okay for them. It's okay for us, but just raise awareness for those people. I'm very proud of you, Happy too, because a lot of people in our comments tell us like when we talk about serious stuff, tell us not to talk about serious stuff, but it's important, man. It's important that we say this stuff and it's good that you're you know, mentioning it. Mashallah, I think that even besides like them, this is this situations happen all the time, and I think that it's such a taboo topic not to talk about it. It's something you, it's something people don't even want to think about, but if it's not happening to them, no, type of thing. Yeah. No, yeah, and 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 if you hear a case like, if you see someone like, you know, abusing someone else, no one stops and like stops it. Do you know? No one says like, what what is happening? Yeah. So like, yeah, it's really sad. Like, if I ever saw it on the street happen, I would probably honestly like bash that man with my little height, but. <laughs> <laughs> you bash that man, yeah? yeah. What if it was a woman doing it? You bash the her man? Too? Yeah. Anyway, I talk a lot, sorry. That's good habit too. Alright, so what is your favourite thing from here? Probably the lamb roganosh and the butter chicken. My favourite was the butter chicken, the roti, garlic roti, and the samosa. Mm, the sambosa was cracker. Mm. So white of me to say the butter chicken was great. No, but it's just how it is. It is Indian. It is an Indian dish. Um, but I'm very um, not picky. I'm not picky, but I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I'm really like, if I don't like something, I just don't like it. I couldn't like. Lately, even not... babe, that's how you've been since I met you. Really? Even sometimes mom makes food. I'm like, oh, I just don't like that. What, my mom? My mom. Why did I get so panicky? <laughs> How defensive do I want to get for my mum's food? <laughs> no, your mum's food is awesome. Like, I don't like meat dishes in general. And you're very picky with chicken. You're very, very picky with chicken. This was good chicken. chicken. I've never used Mmm. Mmm. Alhamdulillah. Good feed, man. Thank you very much, Dosa Hart. Appreciate it, brother. Brother. But yeah, this was, uh... This is a lot of food. I think your family's going to have a good time with this one. Honestly. My Jimmy lasagna. A bit of Italian, a bit of Indian. We don't discriminate. Yeah? <laughs> mm. You know, it's interesting because, like, when we make curry at home, we use curry powder, and a lot of the dishes don't actually don't have curry powder in it. Really? Yeah. How do you know? You can taste it. See, you know what like is there and what isn't. Yeah, I just eat it. Like, I don't know if I'm eating like what's that, what's that, what's that. I'm like, yeah, it's good or it's bad. Mm. They might be using a very small amount, but like, our curries taste like curry powder. You know what I mean? Yeah. The There's issue is I like everything. <laughs> See, if someone tells me something that they've made and I don't like it, like, that's actually on you. What? Like, if I eat something and I don't like it, oh. like, that's on the dish because I should like it, really. I'll eat anything. I know, but, like, not everyone's a good cook. I am. I can do scrambled eggs. Bit of olive oil on the pan, crack the eggs, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. A little bit of salt, Himalayan salt if you want to get fancy with it. Millennium salt is not fancy, it's just healthier. <laughs> salt, salt, my brother. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Did your mum convert the Himalayan salt yet? I don't know what my mum does in the kitchen, <laughs> but it tastes cracker, whatever she's doing. Dude, literally, after you have, because we have Himalayan salt only now at home, and I think we had, like, we were finished and we had, like, a jar of normal salt. Literally, the normal salt tastes like poison. Like, really? it's so much saltier wow. and, like, ugh, disgusting. There you go. I don't know how long. I'm full. Yeah, same, man. Wait, my legs hurt. Yeah, look, she's gonna let her legs down and look, it's all gonna open up and she's still hungry. Mm. Are you done, Habib? No, but you can, we can end it. Nah, I think you're about to eat that. So no, I later, later, we'll, I'll do it off the camera. You'll eat off the camera? It's one of those ones. I'll join you on that. So you guys just get a little, little see what we think of it. Mm. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> so I think it's that time. Are you sure you're done on camera? Yeah. She's giving it the eyes. I'm about to. Yeah, yeah, end it, end it, end it. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Is there anything you'd like to say, have you? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Command Lara Eat. Well, the synergy is a nutter. I think that's all there is to it. We love the Indian food. Did you love it? Oh, it was great. Amazing. It was actually great. I want to go sit in a restaurant here and eat with my fingers like that. Mm. Like that? Uh, I think it's now time to turn off the camera. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later, KD fam. <laughs> Take care. Peace from the Middle East or... <laughs> I'm, I live in Australia, though. You just said that last week. I'm not funny anymore.